So right now we've got this very, very basic application. That's the default from Create React Native App. And before we actually start building, let's look at what we're actually going to, at what the actual finished product of this lesson is going to be. And you can see it's super, super simple. We've just got a full screen background color, and that's the same on both iOS and Android. Despite the colors looking slightly different, at least to me, um, they're the exact same hexadecimal color and same icon or the same status bar configuration so we're going to go ahead and just set this up if you want to do this ahead of time feel free to and then test it check it out against the code i'm going to write code along with me uh, whatever your style preference is so the first thing we're going to do is just set up a few files and a few directories so first off i'm going to create my app directory that's where we're going to keep all of our code Inside of there, I'm going to create an index.js, and that's the entry point into our application, as we discussed before. Uh, I'm also going to have a screens directory and a components directory. And inside of the screens directory, right now we're going to be working on the home screen, so we're going to create a home.js. We're also creating the container component, so we're going to create a new component called container. And as we know, we've got a few files that I like to set up for every single component I set up. And that's the uh, index.js, the styles.js, and then finally the actual component file. In this case, it's going to be container.js. And before we actually start building the, this background component, let's just set everything up in the screens. So I'll go to my home.js file. And I'm going to import React from React. I'm also going to uh, import the view from React Native. And then for right now, all the home screen is going to do is return this view component, just so we can actually see that we're accessing it correctly. So I can save this, and then we want to actually use this home component. So I'm going to go to my index.js file. Again, I'm going to import React from React. And then this is a lot of the same stuff, but we'll just be doing an export default of the home component few things I want to do here. First off is actually spell default correctly. And then I also want to import the home co home screen. So that's going to be import home from uh, dot forward slash screens forward slash home. And now finally we want to tell the uh, create react native app or the expo app entry point to actually point to our application entry point. So we can just go ahead and delete all of this. And I'm going to say import app from forward slash app slash index. Um, just because there's this app.json in this file, we need to make sure we actually specify the index file. Typically, we don't have to do that. This is just a spe special case where we do have to. And then we're just going to say export default app. So if I save this and pending any errors, we should see a plain white screen, which you can see we do not. So thinking about this, we're seeing that um, it expected a string, which means we're not actually exporting a component somewhere. So I'll just work down this tree. We've got export default app. Uh, this should all be good to go, just judging by the way uh, Create React Native App works. So I'll go down to the index file. And what I think is going on here is I can't just return a component. I need to uh, return a function that then returns a component. So I'll try to save this. And you can see we're getting that plain white screen that we discussed before. So now we know the entry point is good to go in the app.js side. Uh, our, our home screen is rendering correctly. One thing we want to do is actually import our extended style, style sheet. So I'm going to say e style sheet from React Native extended style sheet. And something we need to do with extended style sheet is actually build the style sheet before our application renders. So we want to say eStyleSheet.build. And then inside of this build, we can actually set up some global variables. And we'll do that right now. Uh, first thing we want to set up is our primary blue. And that's going to be that blue background color we saw before. And that's just going to be a hex color. And that's uh, 4F6D7A. Um, and that'll just be the kind of that primary color we use in a lot of the application. So I can save this, everything should render fine, it should look exactly the same. But now when we access the React Native extended style sheet, we can use this primary blue in our application. So I'll close this file, 
Um, and then next thing we want to do is actually dive into our container component we've set up. So looking at the index.js, let's first set up um, our imports and exports here. So we know we're going to import the container from container. I'm also going to import the styles from styles just because I like to export everything from the component because elsewhere I don't know exactly what I'll need. So then I'm going to say export container and export styles. So let's go ahead and set up our container component now. And the first thing I'm going to do um, is import React and then I'm also going to import prop types because this container is going to take a prop as one of its parameters. So I'm going to import React and prop types. And since this is a very simple component, I'm also going to import uh, the view component and it's just going to wrap everything just so we can set a background color for the entire application. Now I can actually go ahead and set up my component and it's just going to be a uh, container and there's no state needed here so I'm not going to do that and then everything's going to be wrapped inside of a view so I can do that here and then the prop that we're going to use is children which basically means when we call this component we can say uh, container and then we can just say text whatever whatever we want here and that when it's wrapped inside of uh, another component that so this text component here would be the child of this container so with that in mind uh, we actually need to import this or access this via props so we can say children we're going to want to make sure we export default container just so we can actually access this wherever we call it and then finally we want to say uh, container.prop types just so we've actually got the prop set up and that'll alleviate these linting warnings I have and it's just good practice. And we're going to say children.prop types and then I'm going to say dot element which basically means it needs to be an, a react element that actually renders. So I can save this and then let's actually go ahead and try to use this uh, container component. So with that I'll go to the home.js file and then from here I want to import container from uh, dot dot forward slash components forward slash container and then here we can delete this view for right now I'm going to open up new parentheses just so we can actually uh, just return a component without having to do a return statement then I'm going to say container close this container and I'll put that view right back in there now you can see nothing's actually showing up here yet and that's because we haven't set up any styles for this container yet so to do that we're going to go to our styles.js file inside of our container directory I'm going to import e style sheet from react native extended style sheet and then here we'll say export default e style sheet dot create and then we're just going to have a single style and that's going to be container and we want it to take up the entirety of the available space which in this case is a full screen so we're going to apply flex one I also know that judging by the actual application which you should have you know had the opportunity to play around with everything's going to be center aligned um, in both dimensions vertically and horizontally so we're going to say align item center and we're also going to say justify content center finally we want to set the background color of this and this is where we get to use that global uh, extended style sheet variable we set up before so we know we called it dollar sign primary color so save that and this should be everything we need for our styles or sorry it's not primary color it's primary blue save that make sure it renders correctly now we need to actually apply the style so go to my container and we're going to say style is equal to styles dot container and I need to make sure I actually import the styles because that's what this error is telling us is that styles doesn't exist. So we're going to import styles from dot forward slash styles, save it. And you can see that indeed the background color is blue. And it'll be exactly the same on Android. So I'm just going to demo this one on iOS. Um, final thing we want to do, and this is already showing up for me, but we want to set the status bar for our application. Uh, to make sure that it is indeed always this white color. 
So I'm going to import status bar from React Native. And then within the actual component, I'm going to return this status bar. And I like to always set the status bar on the screen level. That way, um, I'm always able to control you know, what, the, what the status bar should look like. Might be different for whatever application you're building, but this always works well for me. So for status bar, there's two props we want to set for it. Uh, first is translucent equals false. And that's for Android. And then we also want to set it for iOS. And to do that, there's two options we have, and they're both defined by this bar style prop. So we can first off there's the default which was this is a typical default and you can see that uh, up here the status bar is actually black and that's not what we want. So we can change this to light content and that's going to allow us to actually set this uh, white background color up here. Now you may have noticed this little error pop up down at the bottom. Um, it's just saying that you know we're not what we're actually passing to this container component isn't correct. Um, so we want to go ahead and actually change that. And I mistakenly said this is going to be prop types dot element, but it can really be any type because in that case it's uh, passing an array of components down there. So we're just going to say prop types dot any. And it was a bit long winded here, but uh, we've set up our base component directory. We've also got our container set up. And if you're working on Android, you should have something that looks just like our uh, little preview here. So.